Hi, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Leopard with Consortini.com, and today is another cello lesson. Today we're going to talk about how to string up the cello. So this is a little bit of a dicey subject because there are actually some real structural things that are hard to get into about the cello. So the best way to string up a cello if your bridge isn't even on is to go to a violin shop or a luthier. One of the things, in addition to sound being affected by where the bridge is, that matters is that the tension held by the strings into the bridge uh, also keeps the sound post in place. Now the sound post might be a little bit hard to see on camera. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it is an actual post that's merely fitted in between the front and the back plate of the cello and it's what carries the sound to the back. So the exact placement of that, the exact placement of the bridge, these are actually things that the most minor adjustments can make a difference in your sound. So Hopefully you've gotten a cello from a reputable violin shop or luthier and it's already set up properly, but uh, I will talk about what you can do assuming that the sound post hasn't fallen over just to get your cello back into playability and then I'm just going to take my A string off and restring it to show you the basic approach to how you can replace your own strings or to string it up again only in the most dire trying to get this working circumstance. So assuming that the sound post is in place, because if it's not, there's not much that you will be able to do about it or, or me, then the bridge will sit uh, in between the F holes, about where the little notch is in them. Uh, but it, again, it'll be, it'll be a little bit different based on your specific cello. And what you want to make sure of is that on this side, left side to the cello, but for you the right side looking at me, is the lower side of the bridge. Otherwise you'll have it on backwards and the tension of the strings won't be quite right. So it is important to remember that the bridge isn't glued onto the string, onto the cello at all. It's just held there by tension. So if you ever try to take all the strings off to replace them at once, that's not a good idea because you're going to lose your place on the bridge and maybe even the sound post could fall over because it didn't have that tension. But we replace one string at a time when we replace the strings and if your string ever slips this is going to be extremely extremely useful information probably the best way that it'll affect you. So I'm just going to start, I'm just going to take my A string all the way off and before I restring it we'll just go over a little bit of the anatomy. So at the bottom of the string is this little bell, and that's going to be what hooks to whatever um, fine tuner attachment that you have on your instrument. Next is the winding, which will actually vary by the brand of string. Little interesting note, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, and then the string itself. And then at the top, there's another bit of winding, and this actually serves the purpose of being friction against the tuning peg, which here I can take out to show you. So the tuning peg is also not glued, I mean, you have to turn it so it's not glued. Um, it's fitted, and uh, if it's slipping, you can get this thing, or again, a violin shop will have this thing called peg dope. You just rub it on, and it makes it stickier. So the basic approach for stringing a cello is, uh, and f first of all, it's probably easier for you to not have it in plain position when you do this, is you're going to start by hooking the ball to the thing down there. So I'll get this closer so you can see that the little bell gets hooked on. Excuse me. So after you hook it on, leave a little bit of tension on the string, line it up with the groove on the A string, and I just kind of like hold my finger there for a little bit. You're going to want to make sure that the peg, the hole of the peg, is aligned to you, that there's space to get to it. So let's just bring the cello down here. It's actually okay if that falls for a second because what we need to do is get this into the hole in the peg. So one little trick that I like to use is bending it just a little bit. This is uh, something that I got from guitar players. So what you're gonna wanna do is thread it into the hole so that it just goes into the hole like that. As you start to turn it, do once on the inside, and then after that, subsequently wrap around, keeping it even. You don't want it to overlap or look bad. 
Once you've gotten to about the end of the winding, this is where we can go back. In this case, I have to rehook. that's very common. And then if you kind of pull up, see how I'm able to have this in the groove, and this is also up here. So from in, in, the, in the nut groove here, this right here is called the nut. So now I'm able to turn it very gently, letting my finger relax. And now we have a, a loose out of tune A string that's in all the proper places because we kept it lined up. So what you're gonna wanna do as you finish tuning this is first of all, not tune it too tight or you might break a string. So keep it loose until you know what the pitch is that you're using. But push in. Remember how the pig uh, just sits in by friction? So push in as you turn, almost like you're uh, screwing it in. And then the best way to tune it is to have a reference for what an A is. Just look up Google Piano, Google A, something like that, and then you can get it to match. And as long as you push in or you have peg dope, it should sit properly. If not, try to get some peg dope. Uh, again, if your bridge is totally out of whack, go to a professional. It's, it's not going to be that crazy um, expensive or anything. They might even help you for free. Just get it set up, especially if you're a beginner. So that's about it. That's how you string. You would string the other strings the same way. Again, paying attention that they don't overlap weird. Uh, just paying attention that they get into the grooves and that you don't snap it as you turn it too big, which shouldn't be a problem as long as you're going slowly and you're referencing what pitch the string should be. So in another lesson, we're going to talk about how to tune the cello, which is a little bit different from how to string it up because it, it matters how we get the exact fine intonations. But until then, we'll see you next time. Again, I'm Justin Leopard. You can look up my videos on Justin Leopard Cello, and this has been with Consordini.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.